these safety nozzles really never mattered much to me until I had to get uh, multiple size gas cans and I had to get different types of gas. So I've got the large gas can, I've got a small gas can for two cycle uh, oil gas mix, and then I've also got diesel cans that have these uh, safety spout on them. And uh, the one thing that is very, well there's, there's multiple things that are very annoying about these safety nozzles. One, the locking tab, which you can just cut off if you don't want it on there. Um, if you do have children or somebody that may mess with it that shouldn't, then you probably shouldn't take these little uh, safety features off. But the most uh, annoying thing is the little lock that allows you to pour your fuel. It's not such a big deal when it's a small can because you just push the little lock, it clicks, you put this right on the edge of the tank that you're trying to fill and then uh, push down on it and it releases fuel. The issue becomes when you start getting to these larger cans and uh, I've got multiple large cans. This one for my Cub Cadet mower and then I've got a, uh, a yellow diesel can for my tractor and uh, these little safety things don't work so well when you have to lift a very heavy uh, fuel can. The way that you can get away from this is remove the uh, spout nozzle. I'll, I'll use this one here. It's a separate one. And my issue with these big things is that when you do go to put fuel in because it's a heavy gas can I've had it where this part pushed through busted and I had fuel go everywhere uh, I've also had it because you can't handle a lot of weight you're putting the weight of this gas can right here uh, so sometimes you have to pull back on it some because it's damaging your tank if you have a plastic tank on a mower or whatever put this on the edge you could be damaging it so it's just a nuisance the way you get around this is pretty quick and simple. Unlock it, push down on it, push it in, and it is spring loaded. So you will have to push it in, and then there's an O ring right here. You could use a tool to remove this O ring, but Sometimes it comes off easily and sometimes it doesn't. All right, so pull the O-ring off. Here's your O-ring. Once that's off, release it, pull this out, and then up inside here. So that spring is up inside there. Just take the spring out. Put this back on the way that it was. Once it's on, you'll have to push it up, take the original O-ring, put it back on, push it up, and it it will probably lock back in place. But the good thing is, is that once you unlock it, it'll stay. Then you can just put it back on your gas can. When you're done, just pull up on it, locks back in place. The good thing is you don't have to worry about the spring, so just push it, unlock it, and it stays open. And then you can just pour your fuel the way you normally would. If you decide to do this, do this at your own risk.